there has been uh, much discussion in recent years about the prospective future of the Icelandic languages. Many many are afraid that uh, that the digital revolution will will uh, harm Icelandic and uh, Icelandic will not become usable in the digital realm. And uh, it's of course quite a challenge to to. Uh, make Icelandic fit for, for the digital age. Icelandic is of course a small language, a tiny language if, if you if you measure it in the number of, of speakers. There are only uh, about 350,000 speakers of Icelandic. So it's obviously difficult to, to uh, persuade commercial companies to develop uh, language resources for, for Icelandic. This is the reason we are launching a national language technology project, uh, which will be uh, funded by the, by the government. Uh, where the aim is to develop language resources, which will be free and uh, open, and uh, uh, which uh, commercial companies can then uh, take and, and use as a basis for, for their commercial products. Launching this, this uh, national program, we have renewed these ties uh, with, with uh, commercial companies and, and uh, we formed a, a consortium which will work on, on uh, certain core tasks that are outlined in the national uh, language technology program, uh, building resources and, and, and tools and so on. Uh, and in this consortium, we have uh, three academic institutions. We have the uh, state broadcasting service, and uh, we have uh, uh, the, the organization of the visually impaired and for commercial companies. And I think it's, it's very important to, to have such a consortium uh, because we really want the products to be, to be used and usable. Uh, we don't want this to, to be, um, as, as some people are, were afraid of, don't want this to be sort of academic playground where we, we uh, Work on uh, only on, on on research that doesn't necessarily lead to any any practical products. So I, I think this collaboration is important. It, it's not only important for the Icelandic language. Of course, language technology is important for a number of other reasons. Language technology is is important for human rights and and uh, for equality and uh, for several other reasons. And uh, I think the future of, of Icelandic language technology looks rather bright now. I think it's uh, important for, for us to, well, to follow what's uh, going on. It's uh, important for us to have access to, to the, the knowledge uh, and experience and technology that uh, Claren offers, uh, and uh, we are of, of, uh, of course uh, we're going to develop a number of, of resources which will be open, and it's of course very important to that these resources are, are developed according to to accepted standards and and uh, the metadata is standardized and so on. And in that respect, it's very valuable to, to uh, use the experience uh, of, of Clara.